university we've had a lot of cuts um, the schools of arts and humanities has been suffering uh, lecturers have been let off um, we're, get, we're getting a, a low choice of modules. Yeah, the elements um, I'm against, personally, is the marketization of education. Um, that's to say the introduction of markets within the public education system to um, have things like league tables and um, internal, internal markets and competition within universities. The students have had no voice in this decision, like we've had no voice in this debate. The government has ignored us time and time again. And and but as a result of our protest they have actually dropped the bill which is going to be introduced in May. But and even worse, they're actually still making the changes to universities through the rise of fees. They're still making these prioritization changes but without even going through Parliament. I mean it's a complete utter scandal. Basically the plans they are having is a prioritization agenda which is going to change the, the nature of higher education if institutions are allowed to make profit that will change how students see themselves we, we will be seen as customers oh well we want to um, roll back with the privatization and commercialization of higher education um, and uh, we're trying to put pressure on David Willits, the uh, education minister who we think should uh, step down and uh, renounce all these uh, right-wing reforms, so-called, that he's uh, implemented recently. Are you worried about the cuts? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm here to support not, not just students, but also trading unions who are fighting against, you know, fighting for their pensions. Um, I think that um, a lot of us here are angry with the overall direction of the country and, and at the political institutions. This isn't just a single issue for us. It's a drastic change to our education and our education needs to be improved instead of being cut economically.